What is up? This is Shane, the Resin Grind Picker, and I'm here at Lowe's, and I'm gonna buy some boxes for uh, FBA, and I'm gonna see if we can find anything on retail arbitrage to sell for cash, or, well, not cash, but profit, on Amazon to get cash, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. Hello, Lowe's. Nice to meet you. Let's go make some money. Another meaningless destination with nowhere to go. So I'm at Starbucks this morning and uh, we have to get our hustle on with some coffee before we go buy some boxes to ship all of our crap out for FBA. And I'm gonna kind of show you a little bit of the shipping too and how I do it or whatever. It's pretty easy, but I I'm just gonna kind of show you some, you know, some clips of, you know, how I put them in the boxes. So, so let's go get our coffee. I'm freaking, I, I need, I need caffeine. Uh, can I just get a black coffee, a large black coffee with like nine or ten ice cubes to kind of cool it off? Sure. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Alright, comes out to be two dollars and ninety cents. See you on up here. Alright, thanks. Thanks. So I got these right here. These sell for twenty-two dollars on clearance and they're selling for fifty-five dollars on Amazon. So this is no items found. So yeah, so that was the clearance at Lowe's. Um, it was the clearance at Lowe's, but I don't see anything else for clearance. I don't know, we're gonna take a look around. Oh, here's some clearance over here. Here's some more clearance. But we're gonna get both of these knives, all these knives. So there is three, there's still there's six of them. So I'm buying them for $22.43 and they're selling for 55 on Amazon FBA. So I think that's like about a $25 profit. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 120, so about 120 to $130 in profit. Yeah, I'll pass on that. Wonder if there's any other good clearance in this store. I love Lowe's. Lowe's is awesome, but I don't know. I'm looking for some other good clearance. Here's some Dyson's. $249. Hold on. What is this? It's like a house. It's like a house. There's a toilet. I wonder if I could use this toilet in the store. I don't know. We'll find out. Some people heard me and they started laughing when I said that. It was funny. I'm in the shower. I'm in the shower, Captain. <laughs> We're gonna get kicked out if we don't be careful. Alright, let's go get some other stuff. Some more clearance. Ultra Tech Lights, $3.99. Hmm. I wonder if these sell. These LED lights. I don't know if they sell or not. Let's scan them. So I'm gonna scan it on Amazon, the Amazon app. They're 1168, tells me they're 52,000. So I'm gonna go to Scoutify Q, Scoutify, uh, Scoutify 2, and scan them. 
and showing up 1168 is the lowest FBA. And then they're, uh, if I click on this, they're in the top 1% of a 19 million category, which is pretty decent. So if I enter my cost per unit, 399. So I gotta enter my cost per unit, $3. Let's just do four, because they're basically four bucks. Then my net profit is $3.09. So $3.09 for profit on a $4 purchase. I don't know, I might take that. So these would be good. They're still ranked 1% in home and lawn and garden. They're two dollars and fifty-two cents, but the problem is, is they only have three sales in the last three months. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna pass on them. They're only like a dollar fifty in profit. I mean, yeah. There's like, if I bought them all, there's a ton here. Like, there's all these. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's about. Probably a good 28 here, 27 of them here. I could buy them all, but I, you know, I would make about 30, 40 bucks, um, 30, 35 bucks, but they're just not selling that great. I did some research and there's just not, not as fantastic as like what I would want. So yeah, I would have to figure that part out. these boxes for Amazon FBA to ship out all my light bulbs I already shipped out 200 and about 210 pounds of light bulbs this week I'm gonna finish the last box so I can send them to Amazon FBA and uh, make my money I bought around 200 I think 210 packages 220 I know actually I think it's gonna be like 220 230 so it's over 200 packages. Uh, I, got, I got the counts written down, but I have to look. But um, it's gonna be probably over 200. I think I've shipped out 10 boxes of 18, which is like, you know, 10 boxes of 18 is a pretty decent amount. So, and I'll go ahead and just add that up really quick <laughs> because I can't add it in my head. It's like an entirely too impossible to add in my head. But 10 boxes times 18, it's going to be 180. So 180 boxes. And uh, we have a couple more, about another box and a half to ship. So let's go. This might be good. There we go. 1895. It's 299,000. But it's 749.00. So make sure to never buy Nest products and sell them on Amazon, uh, even though they're really profitable. Nest is a... Uh, ooh, crap. Oof, almost wrecked my cart. Nest is a high IP, high IP uh, company that will give you IP. Uh, 
they'll give you IP claims and uh, Scott the beard picker told me that so definitely definitely abide by that I just dropped all my boxes on the floor are you freaking kidding me is this a good price to resell stuff at 349 I don't think so this is these are 298 these might be you might be able to make some money on these but I doubt it yeah there's seven to one there's no money to be made it's too it's too uh, the cost is too low or the cost is too high and uh, and the price is too low yeah I don't think we're gonna find anything here I think it's time to go my little steamer mini all right we're just leaving Lowe's I got all my uh, all my Leatherman I bought $163 but that's including the boxes I bought um, which are about a dollar dollar 40 a piece so um, the Leatherman were $22.48 a piece but they sell for $55 on FBA so I'm gonna kill it on those we're gonna have a 50% at least profit on those it'll be about 50 it'll be about 50% because we're gonna be we're gonna be doubling up you know we spent 22 we're gonna be making about probably pretty close to 25 maybe so it'll be a little over 50 percent but we just killed it at lows and you know that's the thing is you got to really broaden your horizons on where you source that for amazon fba and that's all i can tell you right now like broaden your horizons do the right thing and you're gonna freaking crush it you just gotta you just got to pay attention scan stuff and whatever so but don't don't put yourself in in a thing where you're just in a box like that's the thing is you always got to freaking stay aware and self-awareness i think self-awareness is one of the biggest things you can actually have self-awareness is one of the biggest things that we can actually have in business and whatever and i'll be honest with you like here's the thing business it's not always about it's not always about you know being the best but it is like i want to be the best you're not gonna be the best so you gotta work hard like hard work and being able to stay positive up here is like the biggest thing in the world